Good afternoon. I'm Lindsay Janice at ABC World News headquarters in New York with a digital report on this Sunday afternoon. The new developments on the Ebola emergency here in the U.S. That cruise ship that was at sea with a passenger, a health care worker who may have been exposed to Ebola, is back. Now docked in Galveston, Texas, after being turned away by two countries. The blood sample picked up in dramatic style by a helicopter. This as the CDC is preparing new Ebola guidelines for health care workers. ABC's Tom Yamas joins us now live from Dallas with more on the story. Tom. Good afternoon to you. That's right, that lab technician came off the Carnival Magic this morning in Galveston, Texas, but officials already knew the big question. Was she positive for Ebola? The answer, no, she tested negative for Ebola. Now, this lab technician was always considered very low risk, yet Texas health officials felt it was necessary to fly a Coast Guard helicopter over the Carnival Magic ship and get a blood sample from this woman. This woman's been quarantined since Wednesday. She was always considered very low risk, and she had handled Thomas Eric Duncan's blood samples inside of test tubes 21 days ago. So technically, she's already out of the self-monitoring window, yet health officials didn't want to take any chances. The cruise ship denied uh, to have her evacuated in both Mexico and Belize, so this was a big operation. The woman says she boarded that cruise ship before Texas health officials told them that they wanted people who were in that monitoring window, that 21-day monitoring window, not to travel by plane, bus, or by boat. Some cruise ship passengers we spoke to said they were very upset that this woman knew she was in that self-monitoring window and still chose to take a week-long cruise. I'm sure she'll have a lot of questions from other people once she gets here and arrives back into her home. In other news covering this big Ebola story, the 48 people that were in close contact with Thomas Eric Duncan, including his fiance and some of her family members, those people at the end of today, they'll be out of that self-monitoring window. They'll be able to leave, in some cases, areas where they've been quarantined, and they're free to do whatever they want at this point. Now that's the very latest. The CDC we're also learning is going to update their guidelines when it comes to the PPE, which is the protective wear that the nurses wear and the doctors wear when they treat someone with Ebola. What we've learned is that one of the problems they had here at Texas Health Presbyterian was that the nurses' gear, it was even though it covered their entire body, it left their necks exposed. The CDC now saying they want to cover up the complete body so there's absolutely no skin showing whatsoever. Back to you. Tom, just update us on the two nurses currently fighting Ebola. Okay, let's start with nurse Nina Fahm. She, of course, was the first person to ever be infected with Ebola in the United States. She's now being treated at the National Institutes for Health's Clinical Center in Bethesda. We're told that her condition is still fair, but that she's doing okay. She's eating, and she's happy, and she's talking to people. As for Amber Vincent, who's being treated at Emory University Hospital, we don't know too much. We know that she's still in stable condition, but her family so far at this point is keeping how she's feeling very private. All right, Tom Yamas live in Dallas. Thanks very much for that report. ABC News is monitoring these developments around the clock. To get updates on these stories, star them on the ABC News phone app. Cecilia Vega is going to have a complete wrap-up later on on World News. I'm Lindsay Janice in New York. Have a great Sunday. Good afternoon. I'm Lindsay Janice at ABC World News headquarters in New York with a digital report on this Sunday afternoon. The new developments on the Ebola emergency here in the U.S. That cruise ship that was at sea with a passenger, a health care worker who may have been exposed to Ebola, is back. Now docked in Galveston, Texas, after being turned away by two countries. The blood sample picked up in dramatic style by a helicopter. This as the CDC is preparing new Ebola guidelines for health care workers. ABC's Tom Yamas joins us now live from Dallas with more on the story. Tom. Good afternoon to you. That's right, that lab technician came off the Carnival Magic this morning in Galveston, Texas, but officials already knew the big question. Was she positive for Ebola? The answer, no, she tested negative for Ebola. Now, this lab technician was always considered very low risk, yet Texas health officials felt it was necessary to fly a Coast Guard helicopter over the Carnival Magic ship and get a blood sample from this woman. This woman's been quarantined since Wednesday. She was always considered very low risk, and she had handled Thomas Eric Duncan's blood samples inside of test tubes 21 days ago. So technically, she's already